Great video, Mel. Would you consider doing a shout out to some smaller channels at the end of Waffle on a Wednesday to help new YouTubers get on the ladder? Like myself and Richard Hewitt, Easy Van Life, who you recently saw at the Drove on your way to Cornwall with the lovely Rebecca. As us, you smaller YouTube channels, do look up to you, Mel. Just saying, smiley face, fist pump, and whatever that is. <laughs> and a big love heart. And that comes from Charlie's Van Life. Well, Charlie left that comment about three weeks ago and I've been mulling it over in my head because I know that if I just mention a YouTube channel on a waffle on a Wednesday, the chances are very few people are going to actually go and check out that channel. So I've been thinking to myself, how can I help smaller YouTube channels get on that ladder, as Charlie puts it? And I've come up with a really good idea. But I don't want to share that idea just yet, not until I can actually instigate it anyway. I want to kind of keep it under my hat so to speak but like Charlie if you do have a small van life YouTube channel then please do get in touch with me via my Instagram which is big van small world and I promise I will get back to you and leave you some of the details of what I plan to do now it will take me a couple of months to instigate this so please do be patient but I do promise you it'll be worth getting in touch with me on one condition you promise me you won't tell anyone what I'm up to <laughs> now just in case you are new here my name's Mel and I live full time in this Mercedes Sprinter camper van and occasionally I like to go metal detecting and treasure hunting so if that's something that interests you then please do consider subscribing to my channel now due to my channel growing quite significantly over the last couple of months it is getting harder and harder for me to go through all the comments and try and pick out questions to answer on a waffle on a Wednesday. Don't get me wrong I really do appreciate everyone that leaves comments on my videos and I do find some of those comments quite entertaining but like I say I do have to go through all the comments to try and find questions for waffle on a Wednesday. So from now on if you've got a question for me and you'd like me to answer that question on a waffle on a Wednesday then please start that question with hashtag waffle on Wednesday not waffle on a Wednesday just hashtag waffle on Wednesday and then leave your question please keep that question as short as possible and as direct to the point as possible and then I will do my best to read that question out on next week's waffle on a Wednesday Right, with that all said, let's get on with this week's Waffle on a Wednesday. So seeing as today's theme is helping smaller YouTube channels, I'm going to read the first comment out from Small Van UK. I think this is her name is Helen and her channel used to be Small Van Big World UK. But because my channel is Big Van Small World, she changed her channel name to Small Van UK. I believe, I think this is the same person. Let me know if this is you, Helen. Anyway, <laughs> the question is, Hello Mel, just wanted to ask, how do you ignite your gas if you're not using 240 volt? Does that sound like a stupid question? No, that's not a stupid question at all. It is actually a question I get asked quite often on that video. I made a video when I installed my gas burner in my van, and at the end of that video, I pressed the ignition switch, and it ignites the gas. But what I didn't show in that video was that I'd actually plugged that stove into my little portable power station and that's why people quite often ask how did I get that to work without it being connected up to 240 volt but nowadays I use this little igniter this thing is fantastic it's like a lighter but it's not it's got a little switch on the side to turn it on and you can see it's got indicators here and watch this when I press the button I do hope the camera picks that up look at that it's like a little taser and I use this to light everything my gas burner my wood burning stove even candles you can light with this absolutely fantastic doesn't need any gas you simply charge it up via USB I highly recommend anybody getting one of these to light their gas stove really convenient really easy and look at that works every time and of course you will find one of these in my Amazon storefront <laughs> link down below Thank you Small Van UK for the great question. <laughs> okay, another question from a smaller YouTube channel and this is Kaz and Laz. Hi Mel, great video, thank you very much. How are you getting on with the water filter? Looks interesting, tempted to get one for our build. Well Kaz and Laz, um, the water filter guy did get in touch with me and say that the water filter would be available towards the end of September. But I have to admit I've not heard from Keith for quite a while so I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll give Keith a ring and ask him. <laughs> oh, I've got to sit up. Hello. 
Ah, oh, Keith, how you going? Not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> just, off, just on my holiday. <laughs> oh, you're on holiday? Oh, I do apologise, mate. Where are you? Anywhere nice? Um, in, um, I sit at a bachelor at home, but I'm supposed to be doing DIY, but the rain's... <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, mate. Keith, I'm just finding. No I'm just trying to find out any update on the water filter because a lot of people have been asking me. On the main, on the main ports, um, been a bit, uh, three day strike about two weeks ago. All oh, right. And then, and then I got another seven day strike at the end of, end of this month. All right. Oh, I mean, that's going to see that stuff was to turn up. It's sitting, sitting in the ports, just sitting in the, in the water waiting to come in. Okay. Um, Felixstowe. Felixstowe. Felix that's the one. That's the one. So all your stuff is stuck in Felixstowe. Yeah. Because yeah, of the strike. Looking, 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 looking at the strike. All right. Yeah, but, but it's just the sh international shipping at the moment is absolutely ridiculous. But we had, it's, it's just weird. Two boats left at the same time, and one took one took for like four weeks, and one took eight. Four weeks. <laughs> I would say yeah, I'd say mid 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 October. Now the I know the um, IT stuff's all done, the website's all ready to go, um, instructions have all been done, and uh, we've actually got a brand new brochure and everything, that's that's all just gone to the printers as well, so it's all, all, re all ready to rock and roll, just waiting for to physically get it. <laughs> okay, um, alright mate, I'll let you get back to your decorating. Yeah. It's Sorry to disturb you. You know, no problem at all. Uh, I'll, uh, as soon as I've got the exact information i'll give, give it a call anyway okay uh, that's it for that, cheers buddy Ta -da. Uh, bye. 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 bye 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 <laughs> well there you go kaz and laz due to some shipping issues there is a little bit of a delay on the delivery of those water filters and they should be available mid-october now for those of you that are a bit confused and wondering what water filter i'm talking about i'll leave a link to the video that i made about those water filters up here for your viewing pleasure now, as for how I'm getting on with mine, I honestly don't know how I survived without it. <laughs> I absolutely love the taste of the water once it's gone through that filter. You can't taste any chlorine, no chemical flavour, nothing. It tastes just like bottled water. And you don't get any of that nasty film on top of your cup when you've made tea. There's no chalk at all in my kettle. Absolutely brilliant. Highly recommend those filters. And once they are available to the general public, you can be sure I'll be making a video all about them. <laughs> right, on with some more questions. Hi, why don't camper vans charge up batteries from car charging points? They are popping up everywhere and they will only increase in numbers. Well, the reason camper vans don't use car charging ports to charge up their batteries is because we are completely off grid. We have solar panels on the roof and we have an alternator fitted to the engine of our van just like most people do and we use those two sources to charge our batteries therefore we do not need to plug into shore power. After all that's the whole point of living in a camper van you're completely off grid. Thanks for the great question and that comes from Chris Cook. Now Andrew Bridgefoot left a little comment on the video that we made when Rebecca picked up her brand new full transit that we are going to be converting. And he simply says, who will you get to build it? Seriously Andrew, who do you think is going to be building out Rebecca's new van? <laughs> now this next comment comes from Daniel McLugan. Daniel, please forgive me if I pronounce your surname wrong. Hi Mel, how's the rush treatment holding up? And Daniel left that comment on a video that I made about three years ago when I first got Mary. She was a little bit tatty around the edges, just a little bit frayed and a few rust spots here and there. So one of the first jobs I did on Mary was to treat the rust and paint over it and I used a product called Cure Rust. And to answer your question Daniel, it's holding out really well, although I did have to do a little bit of touching up a couple of weeks ago just along the step where I step in and out of the van and, and to be fair the paint slightly got worn away anyway and I was parked up near the ocean for quite some time and because of the salt spray the rust did actually come back but anyway as for the rest of the van it's holding up really well and I'm really pleased with it although there are a few little tiny bubbles appearing here and there so maybe next summer I will give Mary another touch up so if you've got a little bit of rust appearing on your van and you're interested in doing some DIY rust repair then I highly recommend watching this video where I explain exactly how you can take care of those little rust spots relatively easy and cheaply and most of all you can do it yourself and don't forget if you've got any questions for me for next week please use hashtag 
waffle on Wednesday and then leave your question. And I'll do my best to answer your questions next week. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now.